Blessings, beautiful divine feminine. How are you all doing today? I hope you're doing beautifully well. And I want to invite you into the rose space of the Mary Magdalene vibration of the rose path tonight. On this beautiful night of Thursday, as we're stepping into this beautiful full moon that we have going on in the sign of Pisces, which is a feminine water sign. And tonight I just felt called to really tap in to the inner feminine, the inner feminine of creation, the inner womb. The womb is full of divine sacred water. Your womb is a vessel of divine sacred water, to be honest. Embracing your emotional tides of creation, of rebirth, the cycles of creation, what you're here to create, and tapping into that inner womb cave, the inner rose unfolding on an evolutionary a space of creation in the divine universe, creating love on all levels and healing on all levels accepting and loving yourself and embracing all divine aspects of your emotional, spiritual, sacred sexual, human self and gifts and talents and unfolding in your divine energy of abundance because the feminine energy of what's birthing here on this planet of Gaia at this time is very, very sacred and the sacred vibration of abundance and love and goddess that is what we're doing right now this beautiful divine work and it really comes into this divine divine surrender this divine surrender of our inner love and sacred sexuality and our devotion to us and worshiping ourselves and our souls and our beloved, but it comes down to filling up our own rose cup first. And in divinity, that is where we rise from the softening of within and letting go of the masculine ways of the 3D paradigm, stepping more into our magical essence because our womb is a magical vessel of love and creation and exploration and creativity and divine love and connection with our sacred beloved whether it be in the physical or in the higher realms of dimension because we truly are are always connecting to the inner beloved and that is what i invite you to do tonight is to connect to the inner beloved inside your inner goddess your inner queen and honoring ourselves and being seen because that's really the feminine is rising and being seen in the vulnerability but our masculine or even the masculine presence in the world is coming more into that feminine balance so it is our divine essence that we unfold that in our sacred divine gifts my son today was saying crown crown I'm like yeah the crown you have a crown on goddess every single day it is your choice whether you wear that crown or you put it to the side so i invite you to put your sacred rose crown on now and honor you fully i'm here to honor you and support you in your divine love essence that you are here in a creational space and you and I are truly unique beings within our womb. Every womb is unique and sacred. And we're here to embody this with our sacred beloved, our Christ consciousness. And it comes to the inner feeling before the doing. The inner feeling of water is of love, right? softening the womb like a rose right unfolding every day so we want to open our rose vessel into creation into love 
Our beauty is from within first, and then it unfolds in our physical expression, our face, our, our skin. How we feel is the reflection. The feeling is what creates the outer unfoldment of the beauty. Even though we are beautiful beings on the outside, it comes from the magic within of our soul, our soul blueprint. It is from the inner beauty, the inner breath of creation that unfolds our expression in our divinity and love. So taking the time to come back into that womb of creation the seed within, our sacred seed, our sacred intuition comes from our womb. Our womb is devotion, love, beauty. And breathing into the space of creation, and relaxing and trusting, unfolding the divine universe from within first, and then expressing from that space of unfoldment in our divine love, inviting in our true masculine, inviting our own inner masculine in as well, because it is that balance, whether you born feminine or as a feminine, because it has been your choice of your soul, how you incarnated here. So I welcome all aspects of feminine, of creation, because all of nature has both feminine and masculine and how the truth is of both of them coming together is union. So it is the inner natural union of both aspects of our being merging to that essence. And for that unfoldment to happen it is the natural unfoldment of the rose of creation of our universe, of our womb. So tapping into that space and allowing yourself to really, really, really feel deeply within your womb, your energy womb or your physical womb. And just being seen and being present in the moment of that space your womb connects to your third eye and you may be feeling these tingles and sensations right now. Breathe deeper into that space and allow more feeling in the waters to flow through your universe and your yoni and your sacral chakra. That's where it starts. Grounding in with Mother Gaia. Grounding in fully feeling held and unfolding into that space of sacredness. Breathing into your belly and just touching your stomach and womb area and holding that space. A space of love. And as you hold that space of love within you, feeling into the womb, right? Unfolding your rose inside and allowing the crystalline rose vibration to permeate out through your cells. The hypnosis of feeling so deeply in your essence of your crystalline superhuman DNA. Allowing that to permeate into your vessel of your human self and your divinity of creation in all of life and honoring the space of the womb, honoring you, honoring me, honoring all creation, all that you have created in your divine expression within. Breathing deeper into that space and allowing that space to be filled all around you of this pure divine air-like.
crystal vibration. Being open to receiving the divine gifts that want to show up for you. Being open to receiving the love you desire, the abundance, how you desire to live your life, what serves you on the path fully, knowing your womb is magic, divine magic, divine goddess, divine Christ consciousness, however you desire to express your spirituality and your sexuality. Grounding in your feminine power of creation and being seen in all aspects of you, of your divine soul, of your pure essence, of your truth creation. So that's what you're here to do. And every energy of your guides, your womb guides, blessing you to unfold deeper into that space. Birthing that energy with the frequency of new earth and Gaia. Being in your sacred vessel, Mary Magdalene hands to you because she is within your womb codes, within your blood, within your sacred waters, what you give birth to every day. Anointing that space of your third eye in your womb, in all of creation, and knowing that you are honored in all creation and life. The deserving and worthiness of a true queen, of a true goddess, being seen, walking the path in true divinity, in holiness, of purity essence, that love and that devotion. That is true feminine energy, a balance of softness, devotion, and the fierce vibration to move through with divine courage. And all women, all of life, honor and support you on your journey, on your path to true essence of creation with your spirit and your soul during your this divine incarnation of you as a goddess and a queen. Much love, goddess. I send you love. I send you healing and pure truth and devotion. Thank you so much and have a beautiful, beautiful full moon in the Pisces if you desire to go deeper. I do offer sessions and send you so much love and purity of devotion of the sacred consciousness of Magdalena. Namaste. Moon blessings your way. The sacred rose and the sacred heart. And all of life and creation is with you.